Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of the best new features in OBS Studio version 25. And that's coming up next. All right, guys, welcome back. So OBS Studio just released version 25 of OBS Studio. And one of the big features in this update was how they changed the ability to use LUTs. In previous versions, uh, you had to take a video LUT that you had if you wanted to use something that you were used to using or that you liked on video and convert it into like a weird LUT vit, uh, bitmap file. And you no longer have to do that. OBS added in the ability to import cube files directly, which is going to allow you to use pretty much any LUT you find from around the internet in cube format and use it directly inside OBS. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do that. So for anyone who doesn't know, once you have your video on your screen, and right here I'm importing my uh, webcam footage uh, directly into OBS Studio, what you wanna go down and do is right click on video capture device and go to filters. Now, once you are in the filters, you can do the little plus icon right here and go to apply LUT and you can name it anything that you want. I'm going to leave this just as apply LUT just for the purposes of this video. Now, when you go into browse, it's gonna show you where your LUT files should go. So you're gonna to wanna to save this file path up here in the taskbar. That way you know where to put your LUTs. Now, as you can see, I've already put a lot of LUTs into this folder. And what we're going to do next is just choose one and put it on there. Now, as you can see, it immediately changed how everything looks. Now, depending on your lighting setup, um, LUTs are gonna look a little bit different for everyone. So what I'm getting on this with the, with the reds on my face and everything else may not be the way it looks on yours just because my lighting setup is set up a little bit differently. Now, once you've applied your LUT, one of the cool things you can do is actually adjust the amount that your LUT shows through. So you can see this at 100% is the full LUT. We go down to 0% and it's back to the original as far as what the video looks like. Now this is a pretty cool option because you may not want every LUT you put on there to be as strong as the LUT is out of the box. This lets you get some kind of in the middle just by adjusting your bar up and down. Now let's go in and pick a few different LUTs. This one is called At Ease. It's very similar to the first one. It enhances my colors a little bit more gonna go in and dismissed and this is actually one of my uh, favorite LUTs for for streaming um, I like what it does to the colors based on the lights that I have uh, faded glory just beyond normal it's gonna lighten it down a little bit you can go light work this is also another one of my favorites um, it doesn't add as much red to my face as some of the other ones. Now, for anyone interested in the LUT pack that I'm using, uh, this was a LUT pack created by another YouTuber uh, by the name of The Everything Man. I'll link it down in the uh, description below. I'll put a link to his channel. I'll also put a link directly to this LUT pack. Uh, this is probably one of the best LUT packs that I've come across on the internet. He really designed this to work with um, a little bit of everything, iPhone footage, video footage. I've used this on my Canon M6. I've used it on my iPhone video footage. And unlike a lot of the other LUT packs out there, um, when I click on one of my LUTs, typically it will come out the way that it's supposed to without a lot of adjusting afterwards. And because of that, I do like using that in OBS Studio as well. All right, let's go through a few more. Um, if you want grayscale, that's in there too. You can go to grayscale. You can cut that down and kind of change the color a little bit and get some uh, pretty cool effects by adding the grayscale in and using your adjustment bar. Uh, not quite black and white. Smooth. Now you'll notice that a lot of these LUTs give a uh, more of a vlog type feel. And I think that's what he was going for for this pack. All right, and that's really it. Um, again, you can put any LUT that you want in here. You can find them all over the internet, but now that we can finally use a .cube LUT instead of having to convert to bitmap, 
uh, it's going to give us a lot more possibilities for how we can make our video and our streams look. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's pretty straightforward in order to use LUTs. Just copy them into the folder that OBS has set up, go into your filters, apply it, and do whatever adjustments you need, and that's it. Your LUT is good to go for your video. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. That way you can get alerts anytime I upload a new video. Hope this video helped you out, and until the next one.